The matchup is set. The 2022 NBA Finals will feature two of the premier franchises in the league. The Celtics, currently tied with the Lakers at 17 titles, will look to add banner number 18 to the TD Garden rafters. The Warriors will try to add title number 7 to their record books. This is going to be a star-studded affair and that the most shining star performing this year will be the great Steph Curry. Steph, who averages 26.5 points, 6.2 assists, and 5.7 boards in 28 finals games, will make his sixth NBA Finals appearance, and it's a good time to rank his best performances on the biggest stage of the NBA. Number 5. Game 3 of 2019 NBA Finals against Toronto Raptors After stealing Game 2 on the road, the Warriors had an opportunity to put tremendous pressure on Toronto if they were able to defeat the Raptors at home in Game 3. Unfortunately for Curry and Golden State, they were going to have to do so without KD and Clay, who were both out due to injury. Curry put forth a valiant effort and gave the Raptors all they could handle. He scored 47 points in 43 minutes of action to go along with 7 assists and 8 boards. He shot nearly 50% from the field, putting on a one-man show despite Toronto employing a rarely seen, box and one zone defense designed to stop him. Despite that standout performance, it wasn't enough to push the short-handed Warriors over the top. The Raptors went on to win Game 3 in the series in six games. While Toronto certainly deserves credit for prevailing, Curry clearly shouldn't be discredited for being on the losing side. Number 4. Game 4 of 2018 NBA Finals against Cavaliers The 2018 Finals was the icing on the cake for the Warriors. Golden State made easy work of the Cavs, and Curry ensured it would be a four-game sweep. With a commanding lead in the series, Curry stepped on Cleveland's throats. He got off to a tremendous start in Game 4, scoring the game's opening basket on his way to 12 points within the first six minutes of the contest, after the Warriors had turned the game into a blowout with a strong third quarter. Curry closed it out. He scored 12 points in the fourth frame, adding three more three-pointers to the four he had made in the first half. When the game was over, he had 37 points, four assists, and six boards on 12 of 27 shooting from the field. KD was named Finals MVP, but that might have been sealed prior to tip-off of Game 4. Number 3. Game 5 of 2017 NBA Finals against Cavaliers When the Cavs won Game 4 after Golden State took the first three games of the series, people started to wonder if another 3-1 collapse was in store. Steph and KD put a quick end to that. Though Cleveland led after the first quarter, the Warriors took a double-digit lead into halftime and never looked back. Steph and KD combined for three consecutive three-pointers in a span of 68 seconds midway through the second frame and took the lead for good. When the final buzzer sounded, Curry had accounted for 34 points, 10 assists, and 6 boards on 50% shooting from the field in a close-out game. Again KD deservedly received the Bill Russell Trophy. But that doesn't diminish Curry's performance. Number 2. Game 4 of 2016 NBA Finals against Cavaliers Curry helped put the Warriors in commanding lead of the series. Unfortunately, they weren't able to finish it off. After getting blown out by the Cavs in Game 3, Golden State trailed by 5 points midway through Game 4 in Cleveland. But in the second half, led by Curry, the 73-win Warriors stormed back. The back-to-back -back and first-ever unanimous league MVP scored 24 of his game-high 38 points in the second half over the span of which he was a plus 22. Outside of four Clay Thompson free throws, he accounted for all of Golden State's points in the final 556 of the contest. The Warriors would go on to win Game 4 by a score of 108-97 to to go up three games to one. Of course, that would prove to be their final victory of the series. Number 1. Game 5 of 2015 NBA Finals against Cleveland Cavaliers In his first ever NBA Finals experience, Curry came up huge to put the Warriors on the brink of their first NBA championship in 40 years. The series was tied two games apiece heading into Game 5 at Oracle Arena, and the Cavs trailed by only a single point at halftime. Golden State opened up slightly more breathing room in the third quarter, and then Curry took over in the fourth. He scored 17 of his team-high 37 points in just over nine minutes of playing time in the final frame to lead the dubs to a 104. 91 win. Two days later, Steph became an NBA champion for the first time. He probably should have had a Finals MVP award to go along with it. Tell us in the comments, what is your most memorable Steph Finals moment? And if you like this video, share, subscribe and hit the like button. For more basketball content, subscribe to our other channels, Vintage Dawkins and Squad Dawkins and follow us on social media.